This video is going to show you guys how to export your video in the highest quality possible. Now I know you guys work really hard to capture that amazing footage in those epic shots, so there would be no point in delivering anything less than the best quality. So this is how you do it. Okay, so you may think at first you wanna come up here to the file and select export, but that's not what you wanna do. DaVinci Resolve actually has a dedicated deliver tab where you can do all of your exporting. So what I like to do is select the YouTube 1080p and then come over here where it says custom export. Then what you wanna do is title your video and then come down here to where it says export video. Now I like to select MP4 or QuickTime. Now, as far as the codec, you wanna select H.265. So if you don't have the studio version, just go ahead and use H.264. Next, what you wanna do is select resolution. Now, personally for me, I work in a 1920 by 1080 timeline. So if you don't do that and you work in a 4K timeline, then don't worry about this. But if you do work in a 1080p timeline, then come over here to your media pool in the very beginning tab, find the timeline that you're working in, right click and select timelines, and then select timeline settings. Then go ahead and select the 3840 by 2160 Ultra HD, then select OK. Come back to the deliver tab, make sure that you select that as your export settings. Now here under quality, now this is what's super important. Now as far as your kilobytes per second, you don't wanna leave it on automatic. What you actually wanna do is multiply the frame rate by 2000. So in this case, 60,000 kilobytes per second is what this should be at. Now if you want to, you can go a little higher. Sometimes I like to keep everything at 80. That's just a personal taste for me, just in case for some reason I just don't mind the bigger files and they're not that much bigger. So just make sure you always multiply your frame rate by 2000 for every export. Now come down here under advanced settings. You're gonna see a few options such as color space tag and gamma tag. Next to gamma tag, select same as project and scroll down until you see rec 709A. If you've ever had some discrepancies between your colors and your contrast not looking the same after export, it's most likely because you're not selecting that gamma tag. This gamma tag is best for all social media platforms and YouTube. Then what you wanna do is select add to render queue, go ahead and select render, and then go make some coffee and come back and watch your awesome video. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys later.